Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of creating TEW characters for Total Extreme Wrestling 2016 with me Scott B Gaming. Today in this episode, uh, probably going to be doing two episodes back to back for anyone that's watching the stream but for the purpose of this YouTube video this is going to be creating managers. Uh, so you know more elaborate characters I guess. I mean to be fair the wrestlers themselves can actually be elaborate characters but the managers are usually just good for being a mouthpiece or whatever having a distinctive look so it should open up the creative window as it were for us to have a little peep through and see what we can do so we'll be rendering three managers in this uh, episode i haven't really decided the looks i'm going to go for to be fair apparently though based on the first load we've got here it will be a male because i've loaded that template so we'll stick with that and we'll go and see what we can do um right so we will have a look not there here it is have a look at the um, skin options. Um, what if, I'm thinking uh, we'll do a African American manager. To start off with. Well, assuming he's going to work in America or a, a black manager. To be fair, if it's anywhere else, Afro English, African American, African. It does either way. You know what I'm getting at. So now, one of the textures I quite like. There it is is Jeep's FGH pack for Michael 4 for anyone that's looking to pick up tips um, and we'll just put one of the mats on it basically it's a few morphs but pretty much all using the same mat for um, I have to highlight something in the scene really to make, make it change um, the same mat for um, to create a black character um, it's just got different morphs uh, for him to look at, you know, different different ways. I mean, for example, we've got the Foster Head Inject Morph. We've got Gareth. I think there's about two others. One of them looks very much like Will Smith, I have to say. Herb. And, in fact, I think it is Herb that looks like uh, Will Smith. And well, maybe that is it. For some reason, I thought there was four. But there's three. Okay. So, just for an example, just put on the morphs this guy there you go and then you've got a Will Smith looking character but we don't want to go for a Will Smith looking character because we have a character that looks similar to Will Smith already and that's the whole purpose of his character um, I will though however put a little bit of facial hair on the gentleman like so not like that that's not the we didn't want the hair we've let ourselves down by putting the hair on okay so we'll try this one there you go we just wanted the tash uh, suggestions uh, from the chat have said make a cross-dressing Will Smith and as interesting as that does sound I think we'll leave that um, make the gentleman actually I'm gonna put a suit on him first and foremost let's set things right with a suit we can go from there so this one isn't going to be a cross-dresser every time people put input in they want to create the most bizarre characters Anyway, that's beside the point. I don't mind the, the crazy characters, but not every character can be absolutely off their titty bojangles mental. Um, so the business suit I use is the P3DA M4 business. So just put the jacket on because you won't see anything else in the shot. So fit to Michael 4. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And the carpet looking suit has been attached to the gentleman. I want to make this guy fat. So we're going to make him fat. We go to the posing shaping tab and we go to heavy. Ah, uh, see, that's the problem. That is the problem. Right, okay, we're going to make him fat and then put the suit on. Because I can't be bothered. So, right. Probably not going to fit him now. It's going to look absolutely ridiculous. Right. It's Michael 4. It's going to do the same thing, isn't it? Don't know why I did that. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so delete. Uh, let's go back to this again. Fifth time's a charm. It's not having it. Okay, so we're going to have to manually morph it. Not something I wanted to have to do, but now I'm doing it. So, okay, well, it's got. Okay, we'll do it this way. Okay, posing, move it forward, like so, uh, okay, that just about covers it, yeah, 
Change the colour of the suit because it's throwing me off. I'm not entirely sure what colour I'm fancying in this one. Um, I know I don't want it to be this colour though because that's pretty hideous. Ooh, got some lovely shades of red. I can put my own colour on it to be quite honest, but... Um, hmm. Let's go with a... Just another shade of carpet really. Okay. Well, we tried it your way system. Now we're going to try it my way. White. That is very white. I like that. I like that. And I've already got an idea where I'm going with this character now. Something like a fat gospel preacher I think is what we're going to end up doing. Slightly pimped out as well will be the end result. Spoiler alert for anyone that's watching this. The end result will be ever so slightly pimped out. A little bug flying around in this room. Not happy about that. Okay, we're going to make him a bit older. This is, I mean, this character is already amazing. Uh, eye size, not eye size. We want to go to do it this way, break it down for everyone so it's easier to see. Morphs, full head. Face size. Bang. Like so. Now, obviously, every uh, gospel pimp preacher needs a pimping hat. Um, but we're going to change the tie, obviously, because nothing says pink uh, pink pimp quite like pink i was going to say so it kind of works got there in the end uh, so none let's change this bad boy up to a lovely shade of garish pink oh it is just superb right now the headwear's right next to it i mean so that sorts us out lovely uh stetson's not what we're looking for trilby let's um Hit it here, and then just let's go with some jaunty angles. I think we're going to be all about the jaunty angles today. So posing. Right. We want rotation first of all. So bring it down like that. Put it slightly that way. Put it like that. Move it along. Mm -hmm, not that much. Should be attached to the guy's head, so let me just test by moving his head. Oh, it is. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go... I want to shape his face a little bit. Get a bit of excitement up in his face. That sounds weird, the way I said that. Um, go for happy. Happy? Happy. Okay, we'll do that. His tongue's white. We'll sort that out in a second as well. Um, hello, TARDIS mechanic. Thank you for stopping in. Currently, we are rendering managers. So, mouth needs to be more open than that. So, we'll go here. Mouth open. I'm going to change, don't worry, I'm going to change the uh, colour of his weirdly white tongue. In a second. Where's mouth open? There it is. And you're playing TW in the background as well. Something I'd recommend. Easy listening for you people out there. It's what I'm providing. Okay, right. I want to change the colour of the tongue because that is just grim. Let's find a fleshy ish colour. Well, something that looks like a tongue, really. I mean, that doesn't look like a tongue. I don't know why I went there. Mm. Okay, there we go. That might do it. That looks better. Uh, we'll change the colour of the hat, obviously. They're not animals. Do they have white? If they're offering me white, this is obviously what I'm going to go for. Pinstripe white? Yes, obviously. Look at that. If they've got pink trim, we're going to be... We're going to be mental. I am mental. Oh, God, there's no pink, though. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing, Scott? Let's think this through. Uh, we need pink. We're going to pinstripe it and then turn the pinstripes pink. Why is it that colour? Okay, right. Pink. 
Oh, look at that. I want to call him the Godfather, but that's a bit of, you know. And I don't want to call him the Pimp, that's too on the nose. Um, right, let's get him in shot for a, a render. Biggie Smalls, 30 years on. Eh, if you want. Okay. Right. Now we've got to think of character names. That suggests Godfather slash Preacher. The Preacher would work actually. I like the Preacher. If we can't think of anything better, that is what this gentleman is going to be called. And he'll say stuff like uh, Teddy Long, such as Holla Holla. The Evangelist. I don't dislike that. Um, I will, though, because I just saw that the re end result of that render, I want to take the uh, specular colour off that, because it's a bit too bounce-backy. Is that a word? Didn't sound like a word when I said it, but we'll go with it. Okay, so back here. Oh, look at that. That's how we start off an episode of rendering characters. Working on my own database, we are currently 1,600 characters strong, all of which have renders. It's the London verse for those that aren't familiar with it. Sorry, just to segue off here for anyone watching this on YouTube. Uh, a gentleman uh, by the name of Tardis Mechanic has just asked me, am I working on my own database or using the Cornell verse? Um, creating my own database and have been doing so for a while. It's on the forums, the London verse. Haven't posted in there for a while to kind of keep it relatively low stream outside of the videos. Low stream? Is that what I meant? Did that make sense? We'll go for that. And we can see some of the characters I did in the last episode. Three masked workers there. Maybe we'll do another masked episode later on today. So we'll save this image where all my saved characters are. 001 signals. I haven't yet put them in the data. So the preacher. Preacher of the night. Is going to be saved there. Fantastic. Save that. I'll save as scene and we'll save the preacher into the list of characters I've created so far for alterations down the line. Right, where do you go from creating someone like the preacher to the next one? I think I'll do another gentleman manager. Matt might do two more male managers actually, purely because I've got a couple of female managers which I've entered into the data recently as free agents, so might be nice to add some male managers into that category. I want to do like a play on um, Bobby Heenan as well. But I don't know. Call him. It's, it's difficult because brain. I might call him brain something. Brain Weaselton. I don't know. I want it to be like a little bit of a tongue in cheek approach on him. So now the preacher's been saved, we can start getting rid of. All the accoutrement that went into making this character. Sure, we have. Should have already deleted that. So I don't know why I'm saying you're still in the scene when you're not. Um, first thing to notice: Bobby Heenan was not black, so we'll start with a white texture. It's not going to look exactly like him. That's not what I'm aiming for. A suggestion for a James J. Dillon style that could work. Got Bobby Heenan in my head at the moment, so that's the one I'm going to proceed with. Right, so let's make... Should have left the suit on, really. Um, but I'm going to make the guy smaller, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, white character textures. I'm trying to think of one that could work. Well, to be honest, they could all work, because I'm making up my own character. But something that I could envision... Envis yeah, try that again. Envision being suitable. No, not really. Not that one. Mm, I'm thinking... that. See, the first one that jumps into my mind is this one. I don't think this is going to work because the guy's eyebrows are so dark. Um, Aaron work? Aaron might work. We'll try Aaron and see if I don't like it. I can always change the texture after all. Okay, so yeah, this could work. Okay, so I'll change the colour of his eyes later to uh, something that's more preferable. Um, let's change the size of the gentleman first of all. Okay, 
save it. Right, so first of all, let's make him a little bit less of a chunky bugger. Like so. We want... Well, a little bit of bolt, but not much. Heenan didn't have much of a neck, to be fair, either. So, upper body, neck thickness. Little bit of traps, just to hide the neck. Okay. Right. Leave the old in, take these out. And we'll mess around. Okay. Doesn't help that the character's smiling. That's throwing me off. Bobby Heenan didn't smile, he just pointed at his brain. That's all he did. You talking to me? Okay, right, let's go. I don't know what that was. I do not know what that was, if anyone asks. Just losing my mind. Right, take happy right out of the equation. So like I'm eliminating dwarfs. Um, or little people. Not being rude. Um, math, smile, frown. Mouth closed, mainly, because I mean, I can put a little arrogant smirk in there and I can make it work. Mouth open. No, thank you, sir. Let's get rid of that smile for a start. Okay. Right. I want him kind of looking down his nose at the camera a little bit. Um, got the white curtained hair. Am I going old school Bobby Heenan or am I going more new school Bobby Heenan? Just trying to think what hair prop to use when I get there. I want his ears to be smaller. And also I need to think of a clever character. Got the Mindmeister. Nah, it's a bit too cartoony. Okay, right, we've got that sorted. Here's out a little bit. Um, if I put hair on him, it might help me lead me into the direction of where I want to go. I'll put the suit on either way. So that's going to be white with black underneath. Traditional, keep it traditional. Oh, we could go black to be fair. I mean, he had black stuff as well. So I want to go white with black underneath. So go back down to the business wear. Jacket hopefully should fit in pretty much right off the bat this time. Near enough. We will modify that ourselves. Like so. Hello. That has eliminated, eliminated a lot of the options I wanted. Well, we're going to have to delete you and do it the old fashioned way, aren't we, my friend? Okay. Like I said, trial and error with this software. Even I don't get it 100% right all of the time. Default load. Right, we'll try that again. Opposing shaping. Yeah, oh, well, go to shaping, see what we can do. There you go. Okay. I actually do want it to be deeper like that. Okay. Right, so the outer layer, as I said, I said, yeah, okay, I was just checking with my uh, brain. Right, we want this to not be that colour. want it to be white. We want black underneath. Like so. And a white, are we going to go for a white tie? Yeah, that works. Okay. Right, like I said, let's get the hair in, then I'll tweak the face further. I don't know why I keep doing that for face, because, I mean, everyone knows what a face is. Or a heel! See what I did there? Ah, <laughs> oh, honestly. I am too good for you people. Right. Mm. I mean, I could adapt that, but I don't want to. I might go... Curtains. Style of Bobby. Heenan. Did that sound like words? 
Right now, I've just got to find where all the stuff is. People in Genesis. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Let's go to Genesis three mail. And there, Genesis two mail. It's got to be one of them. There it is. Hello, what's that? Okay, fine. Right, default load. I don't want it to actually attach to anything. If it does, which it has, we correct. Oh no, it hasn't. No, that's fine. Right, so posing. Okay, so we'll put it there, and then I'll put the actual texture onto the hair. So, because I know that was basically roughly the kind of way I was going to try and style it. I'll tidy it up a little bit, make sure I can do that. Right. Let's try platinum first of all. Oh, it's a good start, isn't it? I don't think you're going to get the hair colour much better than that. Right, now let's see how far we can tweak it. Some of this, actually, to be fair, some of these um, free props that I got, they don't tweak much at all. Well, that one doesn't do diddly squit, does it? To be fair, I mean, that actually works. Uh, the only thing I would have liked, well, let's actually, let's see if I can, see if I can rotate it. Well, let's try moving it up and down first of all. What? Oh, haven't highlighted the whole thing, that's why. Silly boy. Okay. Right, let's try. Oh, not doing that. Go back. What have you done? If I pin it to his head, so right click, and this is a little tip. So if you ever buy a prop or item that isn't associated with one of the character models you have, um, for example a hairstyle, there is a way of um, still making it work with whatever model you have at your disposal. So this hairstyle is actually for a Genesis character. Um, so it's not going to naturally, well most of the time it's not going to sync up exactly with a, like a Michael Four character or something like that. All we have to do is go... Right click the item after you've default loaded it into the scene to make sure you can manually move it around yourself. Get it into a position you want so it looks like it's attached to the character. Right click that item as I've just done here and go to change and then whatever the item name is. In this instance it's basic hair, parents. And it's going to drop every, down a list of everything that's in your scene. And I want that to be associated with the Michael Four head as you can see here. If I hit accept, now in theory if I go to pose this character's head there you go you can see the hair moves with it now in sync so it's worked well right now Bobby Heenan had dark eyes if I remember should I go for Bobby brain is that too much that might be too much so iris color going for brown like so. I want to change the shape of his face. I'm going to make his face uh, a bit older. Like so. I want to make his face. I'm going to try making his face smaller just to see how it looks. I'm going to kind of just tweak around as I go on this one, get a feel for it. I mean, the face size has already been, I mean, that's as small as it goes, I'm trying to think. Actually, it might make it bigger. Make the eyes smaller, though. Okay, so, eye size, oh, wrong way. Okay, and then the, bring the width in a little bit. I want to try, I'm just squinting there to try and get a feel for it. Uh, let's try slanting the eyes ever so slightly. No. Okay. Right, now let's change the expression. We're going to go in here.
wrinkle the nose a little bit. Lower the brow slightly. Just trying to think, what else am I looking for? Hmm. Think, what are you missing, or are you missing anything? I mean, that's close enough representation of what I'm looking for, to be fair. I want a bit more arrogance, I think, on the face. So, then narrow the mouth as well a little bit. Like so, oh, so he's pouting, that's a bit much. Then maybe open the mouth actually a little bit, make it look like he's about to make a wise crack. Now it looks a bit simple, doesn't it? So let's try. Like it's, it's not looking good. Close the mouth again. No. Squeeze the brow, furrow the brow maybe slightly. Let's just have a look at that render, see what it looks like as an end result, and then I'll judge if I want to change, make adjustments. It's not bad actually. I do want to make a couple of amendments. I want to make the, um, the face a little bit fuller. A little bit chubbier in the face. Not massively, just enough to give it the look I want. That's better. Um, this size. Okay, maybe try that. Let's zoom in a little bit on the character. Okay, let's try that. Not bad. Let me try one last thing while I think about it. I'm just trying different things, see which I like best. Go to I don't think that's gonna be the look I want. No. Let's try that, a little bit of anger in the face, see if that changes things. Well it will, it'll make it look more angry, let's be honest. Think about it, Scott. I kind of like that actually, a little bit of a kind of bitter snarl. Maybe we'll go with that one. Let's just compare it, see which one we like the best. Yeah, much better. It will save that. But what to call the gentleman? I could just go for the brain to be fair, but I don't know. We'll change the name slightly, Harvey Heenan. I 
go for the brain for now. Harvey Heenan or the brain? Harvey Heenan. Um, actually, I like Harvey Heenan, to be quite honest. That's why I keep saying it over and over again. So, Harvey Heenan it is. So, copy that. Save it, first of all. There we go. And file, save as, so we don't save over the preacher. Bang. Saving Harvey Heenan. Now, the last gentleman we'll be making as a manager, I do not know... I want to give them glasses, I think. Just putting that one out there now. Yeah, so glasses. We'll go for like a kind of maybe a weedier look. Okay, so we'll... Mm, again, we'll get rid of the suit because then we can amend things afterwards. So, suit gone. Air gone. Change the texture as well while we're at it. Let's clean up shop entirely. So we go back into here and here. Go to the poses. And also have a look at... Mm. No, I don't want to do that one. Maybe this texture. Maybe we'll try this one. Ooh. Okay, so let's change the guy to be not as big in the face, basically, for lack of a better term. Okay, so take the old out of the character. Take the old out of the character. Brilliant. Okay, take the face fullness out. Let's also change the character inputs that are on there. So sort that out. Sort that out. I want him to, like I said, look a little, like very non-threatening. A bit that that that's that could work. Take um, the bulk out of him. Also. Upper body, want to get rid of that. Not the up, not get rid of the entire upper body, but make the neck thinner and reduce the size of the traps. There you go. So, I'm going to put when what am I going to put on? I'm going to go for a suit again. I think the suit might be the look. For this episode, they call it the suit episode. So we'll go here, go down to, and no, we won't because we're in the wrong section entirely. There we go, figures. And we're going to go to do, 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 all the way down here to that. Throw the business jacket on the good sir. Like that. And we've got one that pretty much fits right away, which is nice. Hmm. Don't know about colours, so I'll wait while I think about that and put on the glasses. So studio. Mm, I think there's some props. What I might do. There's a few options. Might put these on and just make the glass transparent. So because that looks mental otherwise. Okay, so let's change the size of that. Okay. Now, want to change the transparency of the glasses, as I just said. So we highlight that. Take down the opacity level quite far down, so it looks like there's still glasses but not much. And I want to give him some sort of geeky hairstyle. So, go there. Let's see what hairstyles we have to play around with. 
thinking like maybe short and spiky like maybe this maybe like this no well, not like that because that looks just that i don't know what that is that's outrageous okay so transition move that up move that up move that up okay so stick with this theme i want to go to the poses so i can then go and change the general look of it make sure i haven't passed it matt leandro i believe where is it there it is okay i don't know what color i want to go for not that ginger could work I feel like he needs like a douchey soul patch as well. So I might have to add that. I think I'm going to add a douchey soul patch. Let's um, sort his hair out a little bit. That's pretty good. That works right. Now let's put the aforementioned douchey soul patch on. So that's in figures, it's beard, M4, let's load this into the screen, well let's sort that out as well in a sec, uh, beard, I'll do this first, put the actual beard on there then I'll sort it out from that point, so M4 beard plus, where are you, let's be having you, I'm still going to go for dark. Soul patch. Then that's an interesting look. There we go. Now let's make it worse actually. Shrink it down like so. Right, we change the colour of the suit to what I haven't yet decided. It's all going to come out with that kind of grainy, horrible texture though, so can I? Just, just out of interest, it. Ooh. Oh, actually. Interesting. Crinkle coloured look. White actually might be the way to go with that. Let's, let's do a render of this gentleman, see what the end result is, shall we? Okay, not bad, but I want to change the specular colour of the actual frame of the glasses but apart from that it might be onto a winner so change that take the specular way down dark so you don't want it to be as reflective maybe actually take that off as well just put hmm interesting I'll try that actually white frame glasses see what I think Might go for dastardly something. Or Steve Stooge. Yeah, Steve Stooge. That seems to work. But then again, we've got. Just did Harvey Heen and Steve Stooge. Doesn't seem to kind of. Or dastardly Dave. Hmm. Steve Stooge? That's the first name that came to head. Came to head, came to mind. Steve Stooge. We're going to go for that now. So render editor. Move that down. Save image as. Steve Stooge. OK. 
Okay, he seems like a ridiculous manager's name, and I think that that's the kind of character he's going for anyway. So, file. Save as scene. Oh, yeah. Steve Stooge, and that makes it three renders for this episode. So, let it finish doing its rendering. I think we've got three interesting characters there after that. Don't do not responding now, for goodness sake. Oh, it's corrected itself, that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy with all three characters. I think they're very different from each other. And they have uh, interesting character traits. I think you can make three very different managers as a result out of that, which is the overall aim, really. And we got to use a few props to see what we liked and what we didn't like. And we liked all of it, because that's what we do. Lots of save in this one, apparently. So, as far as the next episode, let me know in the comments section below what kind of character you'd like me to create next. I mean, and when I say character, I don't mean suggest a character with a name and all that stuff, just like whether it's female, or you know, Japanese, or masked, or whatever it is. And uh, I'll see if I can arrange that for the next episode, because um, they're the main points I wanted to cover in this series so far. So, I'm open to suggestions going forward as we finalize Steve Stooge there. So all there is left to say is thank you very much for watching this video. If you have liked it, please do hit that like button and subscribe down for below for more content, more fantastic content that this channel has to offer. Um, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, guys, I've been Scott B Gaming, and I'll see you around.